Hi, welcome to this week's midweek catch up video. This week we're taking some time to appreciate the key workers who are part of our church family. For many of us, we're working from home, we're furloughed or we're shielding and we maybe don't have the experience of going into work still and understanding what some of the challenges are for those of us who are going into work. So we've spent some time with our key workers and we've asked them to make a short video answering the question, what it's like to be a key worker during the pandemic and what are the challenges that they're experiencing. We really hope that you'll enjoy this video and that you'll find some insight into the lives of our members who are going into work and that you'll join with us in praying for them and their families and just supporting them and how they're helping keeping our country running. Hi everybody, so Lynn has asked me and David to make this just short video about being a key worker and the challenges that that has brought about. Um, obviously I'm here on my own as you can see so because David's at work and um, so that kind of highlights one of the main challenges that has been for us is having to always work opposites and um, we haven't had any childcare throughout this whole period so he's working the days I'm off I'm working the days he's off and having days together has been rare apart from at the start the first um, couple of weeks David was furloughed and um, that was nice because then the days I was home then he was here obviously um, but his work were quite quick in getting the precautions and stuff in place so they had him back within the three weeks um, so yeah since that happened it's been tough um, I have struggled a lot with my job as a key worker my role has completely changed I'm doing a completely different job to what I was pre-covid um, but all the stuff that I did and work was non-essential so that has all been cancelled and stopped so I'm working in a completely different um, role within healthcare which has been a real struggle for me um, just working in an environment that I'm not used to but um, it has kind of been tough but the last few weeks I've really sort of gotten used to it and it has been a bit easier and um, so I'm getting there <laughs> sort of getting it into my head that this is going to be the new normal for a while and things probably aren't going to change anytime soon for me but um, one of the other challenges or struggles I guess we've had is the homeschooling and I think that's the same for everybody you know but we've really found that having to, you know to work and try and homeschool at the same time has been tough and um, I've been doing shifts so I don't work the same hours every day or every week so really not getting into a routine with the kids has been tough and they find it hard then to really focus to get work done. Um, but again, over the last couple of weeks, I've just sort of learned to relax about it and um, not get too panicky if we don't get stuff done. And, um, you know, we can do stuff at the weekends if we need to um, and just sort of doing what we can and managing it. And that has been a lot easier to sort of learn to sort of calm down on it a wee bit. Um, but yeah, it, it hasn't been easy. Life has definitely not been normal. Some people think, oh, because you're at work, you know, your life's normal and all. It definitely has been far from normal. Um, you know, when you're at home and your life changes, sometimes you get to work and it's like your wee getaway, but work's completely changed. Um, so you sort of think, oh, I'll get home and we get away, but life at home's completely changed. So there's no getting away from anything at the minute. And I think we find that tough, but um, the last few weeks we've definitely been finding that a wee bit easier um, but yeah hopefully soon we're all going to start getting back to a wee bit of normality and a bit of structure and routine and I think that's what we all need um, but I uh, can't wait to see all you guys again really really missing everybody hope everybody's keeping really well and um, we are we that God has blessed us so much that we have been kept healthy and well so it, it's been good we've a lot to be thankful for um, but take care guys and hopefully see you all soon. Bye! Being a key worker during this time is challenging. Going to work every day unsure if I will catch the virus and possibly bring it home to my children is frightening. I work in a day centre and at the minute it is one of the bases being used by the Covid nurses where they can come to shower and change at the end of their shift and before going home. Knowing that there are staff coming into the building who has been in contact with people with the first is there. I've been through training on how to disinfect rooms thoroughly, but no amount of training prepares you for a pandemic. Every surface in a room must be disinfected, including all the walls. 
I've always had two bar PPE, but never with masks, which I find hard to get used to and I struggle to breathe in. It's something I definitely won't miss when it's no longer a requirement to wear. Thankfully, I have an amazing co-worker and while we work keeping a social distance, we are able to have the rooms disinfected and ready for the next nurse who needs it. It's a strange atmosphere, Mark. Things are different for now, but it's still quite positive. And I am very grateful, despite all the new guidelines and measures put in place, that I still get to go to work because I know I'd go stir crazy in the house. So me and Nicole are both still uh, key workers. Um, I'm working five days a week. Nicole's working two days a week, around my days off. Um, I'm working shifts, so I can start as early as maybe five o'clock some days, other days. Um, I can start as late as three. Um, the way I do my job has changed quite a lot. Um, interaction between myself and the passengers has been cut down drastically. Uh, the only time I would physically come in contact with a, a passenger now is if they're handing me money to pay for their ticket, which is very rare because everything's done via contactless payments now. Um, and if I do have to handle change, then I do. Um, I would clean my hands straight away before I touch uh, anything else in my cab. My cab's sealed up, so there's no there's no way they can get into me. Um, if they cough, for example, uh, there's a screen in the way um, which blocks that. Um, and then the buses themselves have a restricted capacity of 15, um, which which uh, helps with social distancing on public transport. Um, but yeah, we still need to get other key workers about um, to their places of work. And then obviously people that rely on the buses to get to shops um, would also use public transport. What about you? Yeah, so um, I'm working on Michael's days off, um, so thankfully my work is letting me just give his shifts in. Um, so work for me will have changed quite a bit as well because I'm in the care home, so um, basically the kids don't touch me until I get in and shower and that sort of stuff. So. Um, it can be quite challenging because we're we've never really had a day off. I think this week's been the first week. Yeah. Um. So just trying our best to to get the kids doing school work, even in fun ways. Um. But yeah, we're we're getting there. Surviving. Yeah. Hope to see you all soon. Bye. Hi. I hope everyone's having a good week so far. Um, being a key worker during this pandemic is like everything in life. It has its its pros and its cons. And so I'm just going to chat a little bit about that and, and I suppose the biggest positive for me is that my routine hasn't changed um, very much so I, I still get to go to work, I'm still working full time um, which means I get off homeschooling a little bit more than Cheryl does so I suppose that's a bit of a, a positive as well um, yeah but mainly the, the lack of routine would, would be a real struggle for me if, if I had to be furloughed or, or wasn't working at the minute. Um, I think like most people, um, I don't do well being off for long periods of time. So um, it's been really, really positive for me to to be working um, and to, to have that routine in my life. Um, obviously, it comes with its challenges. Um, one of the main challenges is you feel more exposed um, because you're obviously out of the house a lot more. It's much more difficult to, to social distance, especially in my workplace. Um, you're around other people all day long in, in a, a, a close net environment, so it's it's difficult to, to feel safe um, all the time. And obviously, doing it the, the best that we can to keep ourselves safe, but it's not always easy. So, yeah, that that challenge of of feeling that you could possibly be bringing something harmful home isn't easy. Um, and, and that's probably the, the worst part of, of of being a key worker at this time. Um, also, there's Cheryl has been been furloughed, so she's gone on about the house, thinking of all the things that she needs done around the house, or things that need done in the garden. And and while Cheryl's been furloughed, I haven't, but she seems to think I've got all the, the time in the world to do these things. So 
those are probably the, the biggest challenges for me.